Hey gamers, Tyler Gamer here, and welcome back to this hellhole of a place. It's saved in there, thank God, and I can't remember the instruction there I've got are to a do. Lot of strange um, things I've seen around this place. Did it say where I've got to do She's it? She's often depressed, so she. No, it's just story. Okay. So I don't know what we've got to do now. I think the game will tell us. Oh. Hello. Hello. They still haven't buried them. Uh, Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. Well, that's not nice. No wonder they're trying to haunt us and stuff like that. Wait. Are we gonna... Oh, Sullivan... Wait, so is Sullivan going to be the next ghost then? Or enemy or sort of thing? Because Myrtle what first one. So as I don't far know. As feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuffy air. There aren't any windows in there, and it is the middle of summer. Yeah, that seems like the more like reasonable explanation, but in a horror game, it's definitely ghosts. And my sensitivity is through the roof now, because I was scared about turning so slow that I just changed it altogether, so what do I do now? My score's almost 62, and I don't mind it being at 62. Do I just... wait, visitation room, do I have to go to there? Which way is the visitation room? Family room. The doors walked badly. Okay. So I wonder how long it is since those notes were left then. Because they seem to be appearing at like obviously for plot purposes like but I'm not sure. I noticed it was rendering something then because the frames went down a tiny bit so. Was that door open before? I don't think that door was open before. Oh yeah it was. Authorised personnel only. So we need a key ca need a key code for it. Oh what? Pain and suffering has warped their bodies. Okay. Security card reader, it looks like it requires a passcode. So we don't have a passcode then. I think this shows how much I can remember from last episodes, doesn't it? Um so where else do we go then? I'm not going back down into the basement, screw that. And also I've got surround sound on now, so it's gotten a hell of a lot more scary because you can hear everything where it is, if that makes sense. But where do I go now then? There's nothing in here, so where do I go? Like, I enjoyed it at first because it was kind of like a start. Oh, follow the notes. It turns out that Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's keycard from the office. Mrs. Raines had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's keycard. 
Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches and the chance that it was stolen, but then again, Mrs. Rains would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devon had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. So we have to find a keycard and that place where I need a keycard is the morgue. So do I go in the chapel then to get it? I don't know, it's not telling where to go. Grief stricken man killed by train after blinding himself. Wow. Okay. So is that Sullivan? No wait, he's been buried longer than Myrtle, so. Anything new here? No, can't click on it, so. Can I crouch? Hang on, I need to see if I can crouch. No, I can't crouch. Uh, so that means there's nothing under the tables then. Can I just guess it? Uh, so it requires a key card and a passcode. That is some heavy maintenance stuff for just a little room. Can I unlock this too? No, I can't unlock that. Great. <sighs> no, I've got to go back down there, Hunter. Hey, Myrtle, you okay? Okay, good. So you can't read notes twice, then. There's nothing down here, so I don't know where to go. The only place... Right, the notes came down to here. So it must be some... Was that a texture glitch, or is that... I really hope that was just a texture glitch because I just saw like a weird white thing over there then. Like there. Yeah, that's a texture glitch, okay. Whew. I got a little nervous for a second there. So, where do I go? Where do I go? It's making no sense whatsoever. It's telling me to go places. The notes led to here, and then it just stopped. What's that window thing? Can I exit through window? No. <sighs> this is getting more and more annoying every second. Can I pick up this? Oh! Okay. So it was Sullivan. Okay. 57-year-old Sullivan James, one of two funeral directors at Shanmaya Hills Funeral Home, was killed Monday after he tripped and fell onto the tracks of an oncoming train. According to his co-workers at the funeral home, James had slipped into a state of grief-stricken hysteria just minutes earlier, after experiencing an emotional breakdown of the death of a childhood friend and co-worker, Myrtle Vanworth, <sighs> who had been suffering from a severe brain tumour from doctors who had deemed inoperable. Miss Vanworth passed away nine days after the end of her predictive... Miss Vanworth passed away nine days after the end of her predicted death, death date. James, devastated, apparently gouged out his own eyes using a scalpel from the funeral home's preparation room and managed to scramble out a nearby window. Miles Treadman, an embalmer from Shanmaya... Oh my god, I can't speak. An embalmer at Shanmaya Hills Funeral Home and a short-time co-worker of Miss James had begun to chase after the frenzied man through the field behind the building but was not able to catch him before he reached a nearby segment of railroad tracks and tripped, falling down on top of them. Treadman and a few of our witnesses reported that James made no attempt to get up as the train quickly rolled in. Grief-stricken grief Sullivan James was killed on impact and the fast-moving train hit him in with such force that it was severed into three pieces. It has been speculated by those who knew the man that his fatal episode was not driven by guilt for not treating his longtime friend who he believed should he should have. What? Oh, so he's guilty for, he feels guilty for not helping her. Okay. This double tragedy at Shanmaya Hills Funeral Home has sparked a great deal of public interest in the site and has become an attraction for loitering and vandalism among young people. In the three days that they have passed since the incident, three arrests have been made. They have never buried... Oh no, I'm not dealing with disembodied parts. Something written on the back. 
They say that if you take up his rose, he would. I'm done. Nope. They say that if you take up his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. What did we pick up as soon as we sealed Myrtle? A black origami rose. They're going to turn around and it's going to be a jump scare. Something's under the tear. Bullshit. No! <laughs> they won't find it ever. There's a key level of visitation room too. <sighs> I swear to God, if it's that annoying little kid who was that jump scare then. That's not Sullivan. Unless he's got like a... No! Now we've got to go to the visitation room because... Mm. What the fu- Okay, 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 okay. You know what, I preferred it when I was just wandering around not knowing what to do because that was so much better than this, so I don't like it. What? Oh, God. We've got to go inside his coffin, haven't we? behind us oh god I'm not prepared for this dare you dare you double dare you lie double duck dare you duck dare do that is a creepy ass portrait oh fuck no I don't want to do this <sighs> there's a black eyed gammon oh no 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 can I just open it and just leave it? It's the only way you can open his coffin. It's the only way you can open his coffin. It's just a game. 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 I can't open the coffin. Okay, just run. I am done with this bullshit! Sullivan James was blind as a bat. Nope! Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan mm -hmm. James is coming for you. No! What the fuck is happening? Grab the key and fucking run! No, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. 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 Let me out. I don't want to do this anymore. 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 Help me! Get me out! 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 No! 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 <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, I hate this game so much. <sighs> I hate this game so much. Please save that way back there and it just starts in the... <sighs> oh my god, my heart. No, 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 no. Fuck off, kid. I'm in that bad of a mood now, I don't want to do anything. 
Okay, so where do we go? Into the chapel. We have to read that, close it, and then... <sighs> I'm opening this door. I'm just opening this door up so I can run as fast as I can. <sighs> Screw you, Sullivan. Okay, so we'll run up here. Where's the visitation room? That's not it. So we run there. Is that it? I'm guessing that's it. See, I said, see, this is what I said the last episode. It doesn't scare you unless, like, you're on it, not expecting it because it was all being weird. I don't know what was going to happen, and then, yep, there's something written on the back, and blah 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 blah. Okay, what's his name? The little kid. Hey, little buddy. You see, this wouldn't be as scary if it wasn't just so freaking random. I mean... All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James, please gather in the visitation room. Okay, I want to have a quick look at this properly. Oh, so they're just like the whispers... Oh, they're like the ghosts of the people that went in. Okay. That was a really creepy rhyme that they did for him too. Like this is what he's talking. This is what he was talking about. Then with like the he air being heavy, and then you run over here. You got to make the door close, and then stand at the very back. You know, I'm gonna sit on this nice sofa and watch it. Okay. Let's sit down, let's have a nice, like, peaceful time, and the shadows go weird there. And it's nice, like, a nice Sullivan little peaceful James time. Was blind as a bat. All at the end. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan, Sullivan James, James is coming, coming for you. What I don't understand is why he has to go through all this like weird stuff. Why can't we just smash it open a window? Would that not be a better option? Okay, and then we run over here, we grab this, and then run over here real quick, open the door, run round here, up the stairs, this music is deafeningly loud, holy shit, shut up. Now, have you heard how loud the music is? Wait, the music doesn't- oh fuck, where's the key go then, where's the key go? Where does the key go then? Where does the key go then? Hold up. Guys, where's the key go then? Right, I've got to stop and think about this before it kills me. Where does the key go? What other place have we got to put a key? I'm trying really hard to think of where the key goes. Hmm. Right, so as the visitation room which was opened, I tried opening the family room, but that was that I couldn't open that. It was too warped or something, I don't know. I might try it again just in case it didn't register properly, but and also it's scaring me still, like I'm still scared of this guy. Okay, and I run round. Oh fuck! I forgot there was a party middle. Okay, so where does the key go then? Where's the key go? Okay, I'm gonna ask a really quick episode because I'm trying to think out where the key goes. <sighs> How long have we been recording? I think we've been recording long enough. Like, I'm actually terrified. Okay, so I'm gonna, like, have a quick brainstorm after this thing and just see where the key goes because I am so curious as to where it goes because I cannot remember for the life of me. I'll reread everything. And I'll just think about where the key can go. I think it's the family room, it just didn't register properly, I'm not sure. I, I have no clue. But like, thank you all so much for watching. It's apologies for me screaming like a little girl, and I'll see you in the next video. Laters!